three companies on the edge will be going public this week as the IPO calendar heats up. The largest of the three, Trulia, is an online real estate company that is hoping to raise $90 million on Thursday and pricing its shares near 15. It's similar to other real estate sites like Zillow. It lets consumers check the value of various properties while also noting the ones for sale. It makes money by selling subscriptions to real estate agents that are looking for leads. Now, Zillow had a successful offering and the company is now a profitable website. Trulia, though, has some work to do before it achieves that goal. For now, it's only break even. Trulia also lost a lawsuit over its search platform and as a result owes a big payment. It's going to use some of those IPO proceeds to pay that debt. Smith Electric Vehicles is also on the hook for its debts. Smith is planning on raising $77 million on Friday and pricing its shares around 17. The company had to shut down production to switch to new technology and in the course of doing so, it took on a lot of debt. Now it's time to pay that debt back. In its filing, Smith said if it doesn't have a successful offering, it will run out of money in the third quarter. Smith is also heavily dependent on government subsidies for its customers to buy its products and once those incentives dry up, well, it's very likely the customers will drive away. Lastly, Globimmune is a biopharmaceutical company that is going to try to raise $60 million on its offering on Thursday. It plans to price its shares at $12. Globimmune is focused on cancer drugs and infectious diseases based on its proprietary Tarmogen platform. Celgene and Gilead both have given the company money to help them pay for research. Biotech IPOs have tended to price below their price planned range, but they have had a great tracker record of post-market performance. With the backing of these two well-respected drug companies and early good results, well, Globimmune looks like it may not get that offering price discount. Proceeds are planned for more research studies, and if these sta stage three trials are successful, then the stock will probably respond positively. This market has fewer players. We're in coming into a Monday where we're going to we're entering a new stage of tech. It's a stock picker's market. Welcome to the five dumbest things. Apple reported earnings.